Can I help you? <laughs> hey, hey, Gamora! I was just admiring this super cool assassin ring I got from my favorite super cool assassin. As a token of my, you know... Token of what? Of my everlasting commitment to not being murdered by you. It's gonna take more than a ring. <laughs> it is really nice, though. How'd you know what kind of ring it is? Oh, let's just say you're not the first assassin to cross my path. Though, I guess I should be glad no one ever sent the deadliest woman in the galaxy after me. You know, that name is actually a misnomer. Everyone thinks I got it doing Thanos' dirty work. Before, you know, I betrayed him. In truth, I got it after I joined the Resistance, on a mission where nobody died. You have to tell me about this Resistance mission, especially if no one died. I don't think it's a story you're gonna like. Why not? Because it doesn't make Corel look very good. Okay... The thing you have to understand is that it was the end of the war. The Resistance was losing. Bad. The Shatari knew it, Thanos knew it, we all knew it. But then, Thanos died. At first, people thought it was a false report. Misinformation spread to lure the Resistance out into the open. But when it became clear that it might be true, Corel saw an opportunity. An all-or-nothing mission that could win the war once and for all. The final attack on Shatari Prime. You're talking about the Resistance stealth mission that kidnapped their infant queen. Except kidnapping the queen wasn't part of Corel's original plan. The only reason she had me tag along was so that I would kill the queen. What? There's no way. Is it so hard to believe? She was grieving. You know that. The Shatari had killed her husband. Her little boy. She wanted revenge, and I was her chance to finally get it. Brel would never put out a hit on a, a, a baby. She would never kill a kid. Believe what you want. But she's not who she was back then. None of us are. Something changed. Maybe it was having Nikki. Either way, I refused and we won the war without killing anyone else. And, for reasons I don't fully understand, I became known as the deadliest woman in the galaxy afterward. I, uh... kind of don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. After the Galactic War ended, I moved on. And now I'm here, doing all this fun stuff with you guys. And I wouldn't have it any other way. But seriously, thank you for sharing that with me. Sure. <laughs>